Hi and welcome, I'm V Muse and in this particular video for our Warlock Tile System, we're going to be taking a look at the walls that you're going to be finding in your sets, both the dungeon tiles as well as the town and village tiles. Now in this case, I'm using the walls from our town and village. Keep in mind this applies also to the dungeon tile set as well, it's just one is stone, one is more the wood and stucco appearance. So if you take a look, you're getting two styles of walls in your sets. You have your exterior wall, and then you have your interior wall. Let me explain what's going on with each of these, starting with our exterior walls. So we're just gonna tuck that one up there. For the exterior walls, you're gonna notice that they too have those three openings that you'll notice on our tiles as well. This means that these click in nicely against your tiles. So here is a tile all set and ready to go with a clip inserted. If you haven't caught our clip video yet, be sure to check that one out so you can see how to work with these best. And again, all I wanna do is make sure that this clip is going into that center opening and get the two pieces hooked together and now you have your exterior wall set up at the edge of your tile. You'll notice that these exterior walls are a little bit thicker than the interior walls, which is what you wanna have, it gives it more stability. The other thing you're gonna notice is that these are half walls. They are not a full height wall, and there is reason behind that. This means that when it comes time to play and you have your layout set out on the table, it is much easier for you as the DM, as well as for your players to see up and over and see what is happening on the layout you have going as well. Now let's take a look at our interior walls. The first thing you're going to notice is that it is not nearly as wide or thick as our exterior walls, and there is reason for that. This means by having thinner walls on your interior, you're not losing space to your walls as they're set up on your floor plan. It's actually a little bit more streamlined and you have more room to work around with, and you're not having all of your minis getting bottlenecked into one area because you're losing so much space due to the thickness of the walls themselves. So to put these interior walls to use, you want to make sure you have your floors set up and it's also one of those things keep in mind if you have one of our larger tiles you're working around where the edges meet other tiles so in this case I've just used two by two tiles for this one so you can see what I'm talking about you'll see here that there are two metal edges that stick out from the bottom of the interior wall what you want to do is aim it so that a clip will actually sit between the two of these and help them stay in place so right now I'm finding the edge of a tile between a tile and you'll see that the interior wall hooks right in and fits in place like so. Now I do have an exterior wall as well and you can see what I mean in terms of space. So here we have our interior wall set up. You can see it is nice and sleek and streamlined. There's a lot more room to work with. You're not losing very much, if, it all, if at all anything, to your grid working, if that's something you're working with. If I go to put the thickness of an exterior wall inside, you will notice it does change things a little bit. You'll see that more is used up floor plan wise. So that is why we offer two different style walls in these sets. And it's something I think you're gonna take great advantage of once you get your systems going and get your layouts going for your different rooms. It definitely comes in quite handy. So those are the walls in our system for our Warlock tiles.